Hello, uh, once again, uh, this is Caesar, and uh, today we're going to create a video about the Internet Explorer's Content Advisor. And what this does is, um, if you're if you have a kid that uh, you don't want to, uh, you don't want him to um, to browse in, into sites that you you don't like to, all right, uh, censored sites, for example. Um, Content Advisor is the basic way to uh, to help you manage the the websites that your child or uh, children uh, can access and uh, so this video is going to come in two parts the first part will cover the activation uh, management and uh, deactivation of the content advisor and the second part is removal of password in case you forget the password for your content advisor and uh, you lock yourself up together with your child All right so this is uh, gonna be the first part um, first thing we're gonna activate um, the content advisor so to do that you may open your you may open your Internet Explorer alright and uh, up on the top now I'm using a mini computer mini laptop so the options here and does not really uh, it's not really a okay well anyway let me just adjust that one so go to tools choose internet options alright and then uh, go to content and uh, you'll see this option here ratings help you control the internet content that can be viewed on this computer so you're just gonna enable it all right um, so there are those categories and uh, if you want to put some approved sites uh, and you know of course uh, you, you can just uh, tinker around the uh, settings here and um, okay now um, rating so we're just gonna activate this one and uh, uh so okay so we'll just click okay it's gonna ask you for a password so for example let's put here no password no password and some hints here is there a password okay all right so once you activate it okay Alright, so once you activate it, every time you access another site, for example, I want to go to um, Yahoo Mail. Oops. It's not going to let you for some reason. So, that's basically... Uh, is the um, the use of this it's gonna ask you if you want to uh, proceed with the site that you're gonna view for example you don't um, if you think that your child is um, viewing something that you don't want to allow then you can just uh, uh, well cancel that it's not gonna get you anywhere all right now, if you um, if you think um, the the website that uh, your kid is asking you to approve uh, is um, is okay, all right, and uh, and you think that um, he, he can uh, or she can uh, access the website anytime, then yeah, uh, you can actually put here always allow this website to be viewed, all right, or always allow this web page to be viewed. The difference is that if you put in website, that means that any for example, you're trying to um, try to access cesafari.com. If you put website, then it's gonna allow everything on that domain. So, uh, for example, cesafari.com/other sites and cesafari.com/text, then um, both will be allowed always, unless you change your mind. Now, when you say web page, then it's going to be just the current page that your kid is trying to view. 
So for the sake uh, for the sake of this discussion, we're just gonna put in always allow this web page to be viewed, and I'm gonna put the password that we set earlier, no password, and click OK, and there it goes. You don't have a problem. Now, for example, I wanna change and go somewhere else. For example, we want to go to um, uh, look at that. So no password. Okay. Okay. So, for example, want to go to, um, well, Google. dot com. Okay. It's not asking you to. Um, all right. There goes the problem over there. You gotta have to um, put in the password again. No password. Okay, so if you're okay, no password. Up. N o p a s s w o r d. There you go. So. All right. So um, that's basically how to uh, enable and use the content advisor. So. If you just want to disable it, you uh, think it's just a mess or uh, you don't want to be bothered anymore, you don't want to control the websites your kids are uh, accessing, you may just go back to tools, internet options, and um, go back to content and uh, disable. Now, of course, it's going to ask you for a password, so if you can still recall your password, then it's not, it's not going to be a problem. Password. Okay, so it has been turned off. All right, so um, the problem is uh, when you forgot the pass password, and that's what we're gonna cover in the next part of this video. So for now, I hope this one uh, helps you, and um, I would like to invite you to um, visit my website at cesabari.com, and um, I hope you can find the website helpful as well. And thank you for watching this video.